okay in this video i am going to talk about the functions in this we're going to talk a very brief description of the, the i'm going to just talk briefly about the functions nothing big in details in this video okay and let's actually starts actually i'm going to use pubs database as you can see pubs 2000 is just a pubs database nothing just renamed it i'm the first ex statement actually says if access that objects you have to drop that functions this is very very regular thing nothing nothing diff nothing but it says drop the function if it exists it is going to execute the function and drop the function if it exists and the function has been dropped now this is how you create a function it is a little different from the stored procedure you can see see that the quantity is uh, actually that has been passed inside int is the data type and return it returns a uh, int it doesn't have, have the output parameter or something it returns a data type it doesn't return a variable it doesn't actually the variable is not defined it is just returning a data type and the best part of the function is that you can use it in the select statement while the this procedure you cannot use it in the select statement remember that that's a very big difference this otherwise mostly they can do both can do all the things similarly but you cannot use a stored procedure into the select statement while the function you can be used in the stored procedure in the functions can be used in a select statement just like any other function like max min and other any ag aggregate functions or any other functions now this is the it says create function calc commission is as calculating the commission but actually is not doing much is just actually assigning a variable but the calculation can go on into it if i pass the other parameters also but right now i'm just going to show you how to actually how the uh, how the variable is being assigned and how it will be returned and the quantity at the rate is at, at the rate quantity is the local data variable that have been defined and it returns the int as begin now the here is declare at the rate prc that percentage int this is the local variable declared and if at the rate quantity less than 80 then begin then set the percentage to the 5 that is of setting the percentage to the 5 and end it if quantity greater than 80 and, and quantity less than 90 then begin set the percentage equals to 10 and if quantity greater than equals to 90 begin if set percentage equals to 15 and return at the rate percentage and and go this is a very 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 simple select skill function it's a very simple function it will return the percentage in the end let's go and execute the function first let's create a function as you can see I'm going to execute it and it has been created now I can use this function in the select statement now just I am going to select the store ID some quantity this is just coming from the sales but here I am going to use the say, function that just I have created on the right now so this is going to actually send me return the actually the percentage that has been set in the variable that has been set here for each of the sum quantity okay and here it is what you can see is that uh, the percentage has been returned okay and with the whatever that has been set in the function this is how that damn easy it is there is no rocket science into it it is very very simple very similar to the stored procedure only the thing is that it doesn't have a output parameter it returns a int or returns a data type and it this functions can be used in a select statement by the stored procedure cannot be here is just another example of the create functions create function dollar to the euro it's converting a dollar to the euro add dollar money returns money as begin select declare at the rate euro money and then it's setting the euro equals to dollar divided by 1.2 1 1.10 that's actually what the euro what are you expecting about the euro and it returns a euro okay this is what the calculation is it's just an assumption don't take it seriously okay just calculating the dollar to euro and i'm going to execute this function basic idea is to show you how to actually use of create a function and use it in a sql okay it already exists so not a problem at all okay the only thing is that i have already created it but this is how it should be and actually let's go and run the function and see 
here it is as you will see that the it has written 10 100 100 and when we have passed 110 it goes divided 110 by 1.10 so we get a 100 okay that's how this is how very simple okay i'll just enter the function here and maybe in the next video i'll carry on in the very details in the function